and this is where we're going to screw that valve into right now in place what I have is uh, three one for hot one for cold and one for the toilet um, these are drop ear 90s and these particular ones here are made for PEX pipe PEX tubing and it is Ubernor, only used for Ubernor. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull these back out. And we're going to use Shark Bite. Like I said uh, in this video, I'm trying to make this as easy as I can, uh, to connection as easy as I can, and simplify it as simple as I can for everyone out there to uh, that can get a grasp of it. And if it helps them out, great. I don't want to get too technical because I know everyone out there is not a plumber. And here is another look at the extension. Uh, if you decide to go ahead and use the extension on here. Uh, like I was saying, I'm trying to make this video as easy as possible. Uh, using the simplest tools and material that we can use. Um... Because I know everyone out there don't have the uh, expensive tools that a lot of plumbers, as we plumbers, use. And I know we can get very technical uh, when we start talking plumbing. And explaining and trying to show people. So now if you look right here, you can see how much space you have to work with. How much, how far you can extend that uh, toilet out to. Um... Again, if there's someone creative out there that this is useful, great. Uh, me personally, I'm going to remove it and get it close to the walls I can. Here's another nice feature uh, to the extension you might like. Again, if you're going to put it behind drywall and you cut that hole, you want to make that hole nice and neat. This is called an escutcheon. Uh, all the little silver plates you see up under your sinks and things like that, the shiny, those are ex excussions. So it's more or less of a decorative piece that goes on there. So it comes with that. Uh, this is just uh, in case anyone's out there interested in using the extension. This is what you can do. And this is right up to the uh, grinder pump itself. This is the one I prefer right now because this works best for me. And there's the uh, inch and a half vent and the inch and a half, I mean the uh, three quarter inch discharge. Now you can see why I should have put the uh, tank on before I put this in place actually. It would have been a little easier uh, to get access to it. And all I'm doing right here now is uh, marking it for the uh, mounting bolts to mount it down to the uh, cement floor. So I'm going to take a uh, drill, a hammer drill, and drill down and put some anchors in there and uh, anchor the toilet down so it'll be nice and tight to, and, to the, and secure it to the floor. Okay, what I've done here is uh, I put my um, I'm putting my valves in place, my stub out. 
so now I know exactly where to run the line where I need to run it. And these are the uh, bolts that I'll be using to bolt down the uh, bowl to the uh, cement floor. I've already drilled my holes in the uh, cement. Now, as you can see, I've inserted the uh, anchor bolts, the anchors, down into the cement. See the little red anchors? And from here, all I have to do now is screw the uh, toilet bolts down into that, and that's going to be nice, snug, and tight. And once that's in place, then I'm able to uh, set the bowl in place and anchor it down, of course. Okay, I've got both of the both of the toilet bolts in place, and this is the part that I like. I don't have to f mess with any messy wax ring because there's no outlet at the bottom. It's coming out the back. And now that I've got it in place exactly where I want it, now I can actually start working on the back and connecting the uh, coupler to it. And this is probably the tricky part because it's really hard to kind of get into that area. But uh, like I said, the uh, very flexible and you have a lot of movement that uh, helps with the adjustment. Now the uh, pieces to uh, tie up this coupler, <clears throat> this is uh, one of the